Today we are going to be sh telling you about the Bissell. Now we're not going to be testing it or anything, but I'm going to be showing you like how how to get to the brush roller, how to like clean the filters problems that you might commonly find. Always make sure you remember to unplug it b before being serviced. So the first thing that I just discovered when we were getting set up is this. So you pull off your bin when you empty it, empty it and come back. You might do this. You might do this. And that's not properly steeled. And I just noticed that that, you, that that happens, but you have to hear a loud click. If you didn't know that, make sure you check it before you start your machine. And make sure you can't pull it out. If you can, then you got to push it in a little more. So, if, you're, if your vacuum has a bad smell or it's not picking up anything, one of those, press the empty button and pull out your bin. Open the latch right here that says pull for filter. And if you look right here, here's the filter. Now this filter is almost ready to be washed. If you take it out, that's what it looks like. And also, this is not the only filter in this machine. So, this should turn, maybe. thousand years later. Eventually. Alright, so I found a little sneaky thing that was hiding from me. So, so right here on the back it says tank unlock and lock. So you, t you have to turn your machine to the unlock. It's a little difficult have to hold it by the handle. Now, right here, this is a filter too. Just twist it, and here's your filter. Now, all of these parts here are washable, so you can wash all these parts. This is how I'd suggest you do it, like this. This is all the parts that are washable. Don't wash the vacuum itself, don't do that. It's going to ruin the vacuum. So. so how to put everything back together? Simple. Put your filter back in. Close it. Take your thing here. Take the filter and snap it in. And then your vacuum is basically back together. You get to... Put it on the unlocked side, and then push it. Might be a little difficult then, but there you go. That's all about this. Now it's time to show you how to get to a roller. Alright, we are back with the vacuum flipped over. So, now we're going to unscrew the screws. So, you got to be careful not to script that screw. Two hours later. Right, we skipped ahead a little, but now we are ready. So let's take it apart. So now this should come off. Might be a little difficult. For some reason, this is not come off. Compartment, we didn't expect it to be this dirty. We are back. Um, now I'm going to be showing you. We kind of skipped us through um, taking this out, is a giant mess. <laughs> That's it. Um, now we are going to be showing you how to take this, the belt out, and the brush roll out. So the belt and brush roller is another place to check if if it's not picking up anything. If this is really loose and it's just spinning really quickly, that might indicate that your belt's broken. 
if it's spinning like really quickly. Like you can just use one hand and it like spins like five times. Or if it doesn't spin at all while it's running, check this. And you might find the problem here. So now we're going to show you how to take it out. So what you have to do is you have to pull right in the middle and give it a little bit of power. Then pull it out. Then you can replace your brush roller. And we've never ever seen a vacuum with this much dirt in it before. This was covered in dirt, like everywhere, so yeah, that's covered in it. So. Now we are going to put our brush roller back on. Alright, we are back, so now we're going to be putting the brush roller back in. Like, this is like, I've never seen anything like it. Now this is my first time having one of these machines, so I'm, I'm learning, you're learning. So, we put this on through here. Make sure it's not crisscrossed like this. Make sure it's just like the normal way. We put it on. And it's hard to stretch. Good. Now we need to get on this side. Okay. So, it wasn't too, too difficult. Um, might have to, might have to get in a lot, but I don't know what, what that's doing there, but just make sure, make sure you don't have your belt like at the end of that rolling place. Make sure it's not like right here. You want it to be like right in the middle. Part number three o three one one two o and copies that right up here. Okay. So now we're going to be putting it back together. Make sure you line up that little piece there. Line up everything. So you don't want to over tighten these screws. Mm -hmm. If you do, then you're then they might be impossible to screw out. You might break the plastic if you over tighten them. If you're not getting such in with your vacuum, then check your hose. Check your hoses right here. Check your hoses. It's a very big hose. Now, and here's that hose and this one heading through there. But if it's not picking up anything, check that hose. That might really help you. Um, that's basically it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.